Let's do it. Welcome to Overwatch. This time we're going to be talking about McCree. You might notice we're on a different screen. We're on the normal screen. It's because I want to show you guys this first. Because we're doing McCree, it's going to be a little bit different. Because with McCree, you can actually do something outside of playing the game that's actually quite easy to set up. And if you haven't seen this before, uh, just say bye Twitch chat for a second because we want to go to the main screen here. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, what this is, is a way of practicing your aim. So we're going to show this off first, just for a couple of minutes, for a minute or two. What you do is you set, uh, you get a game set up, you set it to, I prefer King of the Hill maps for this. Um, you can set it on Skirmish if you really want. Now, these are the settings you really want, like we're going to set it on um, just competitive. Actually for now, let's just set it on competitive, just to show this off. Uh, I've showed this off before, but you guys, you know, it helps to show it off again and again and again, just to make sure everyone's on the same page. So I said it's in Nepal. I like Nepal. I think Nepal's the best map for doing this, although I think um, Li Zhang Tao is also pretty damn good. The big thing you've got to do is you have all Anabots, and you set it to headshots only. That's because Anabots um, can't headshot, so then what you can do is you can load into game, and you have an area where you can practice getting headshots on McCree or Widowmaker or any hitscan hero, very, very free. You can sort of just do what you want with that hero. So we're going to just pick McCree, and actually we're still set to skirmish mode because I forgot to save it. Then we're going to have Anna's running all over the place. But we're just going to try shooting some heads, and this is actually a very good way of warming up, but it's also just a very good way of practicing getting those headshots, getting that all-important aim. It's a very, very reliable way of improving. Um, this is part of the reason why I like having it not on skirmish, because I think it just makes all the bots congregate there. But what this lets you do is it lets you just practice shooting things in the head. You should get very proficient at shooting Anna's as we try and hunt down where they've run, because I don't usually do this on skirmish, I'm not quite used to where they are. I'm going to miss every shot as well as she walks across the gun M. Okay, I'm terrible, by the way, at doing this, like, without any warm-up. So, yeah, I prefer doing this with, um, Widowmaker. But, yeah, it lets you sort of do warm-up, lets you practice in your own time. So, if you do want to learn McCree, like our friend Banny wants to do, who's the guy who we're going to be doing today, well, this is a good way of just practicing your aim a little bit and getting used to how McCree's gun handles, how you perhaps over-aim or under-aim. Um, how to react, how to move the mouse around a bit. You know, do you spam fire too much? Do you over-aim? By over-aiming, I mean, like, when we move the mouse, like, let's take this Anna, for example. Do we move it too far and shoot that side? If we under-aim, then we don't move it far enough and just shoot on the same side that we're still on. Or do we aim it just right? Um, do we use the mouse, to, uh, the keyboard to move around enough? So, for example, you want to actually just use the mouse to get in the right position and then sort of strafe so you're in the position to land the headshot as I miss a, st a standing still target. But you get the idea, you can use this to practice in your own time, you can sort of, you can also see your stats, you can see your weapon accuracy, for example, uh, just there, it's kind of behind today's goal, but you can see your weapon accuracy, for example, as well, it's a very good way of practicing and improving at the game. That's all I wanted to show you guys, if you haven't seen it before, uh, it's a good way of sort of killing some time as well, if you have a little bit of free time, it's a fun way of doing just that. Okay, now let's go to the actual coaching. Let's go to the video. Just wanted to sort of show that off as a way of improving outside of playing Overwatch. It's one of the few things you can actually do to really kind of up your game without just playing the game. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to the coaching video screen, which is this one. And then we're going to be opening up our YouTube video like so. So this is the video that we got sent in by Twitch subscriber Banny, this guy, Banky Doom. So he sent in this video, right? And he says in his email, let's explain the email. Um, hey, I'm Banny here. Uh, I recently decided to come back to the game after only playing Lucio on the Sun with friends. Overwatch is pretty much my first FPS, and these two short games are some of the first time I've played an offense hero in ranked or quick play. So he's he's gone bold, right? He's playing McCree in ranked, and he's new to FPS, but he wants to learn McCree. The thing he says in the email is that he has he doesn't know exactly what he should be doing, what he should be looking for, what's his target priority, that kind of thing. You know what it, what are his meta goals? You know, I always like to have that one, two, three list of you know what are our priorities. With McCree, it's pretty simple. I'll priority is just to kill things it's to deal damage but we're going to see quite often that we miss opportunities in this video to get good and proper kills say hi to youtube by the way guys um but yeah if you want to improve aiming like the the mccree training is a very good thing just play mccree a lot play mccree and quick play play mccree all you like um he also says in the video and we're going to see actually with the team lineup 
Like this team has a couple of team lineup issues. Um, you can already see, like, we have duo support, but we only have one tank, which is like, holy shit, we've broken the meta, and the one tank we got is Winston. We're going to talk about that a little bit when we get started. So let's let's send Twitch chat off on its way. Thank you, Twitch chat, for joining us very briefly. Twitch chat will be coming back at the end to ask some questions. Hopefully, they'll be brilliant questions. They usually are some really good ones. So if you have guests, uh, questions during the video, ask them at the end, Twitch chat, and I will get to them. Okay, let's let's get to it. So we got our team lineup right now. So what, what's the deal with this team lineup? Let's let's think about our team lineup right now. So we have actually a big problem and we're defending on Route 66, but we have a Winston. So we have no Reinhardt. That actually makes it very, very hard for us to survive. We have a huge amount of damage output, but Winston's really going to be struggling to get a lot done here. If you do have to mono tank, guys, I really recommend picking Reinhardt. He's just the best at it, most useful for it. And yeah, it, it's a good idea to do. We have Pharmacy, which is a lot of damage. And we have Soul 76, which is a lot of good long range damage. So we are actually actually on protection duty like this is what's going through my mind um at this rank at this not at this rank at this point is soldier 76 can kind of deal with the threats at range far can deal with the threats at range what we want to really be doing is hanging around with the two supports and keeping them safe for anything trying to jump into us trying to jump on us so that's genji tracer diva winston anything that really gets into our faces we can also help deal with reinhardt if reinhardt charges in mccree has a lot of burst potential we're going to be talking about that as well as we go forward also actually i'd like to address something while we're in the prep phase um i know like every single video i put up on youtube on this someone always posts the same comment which is why do you pause so often stop pausing so much i pause so often because it lets us break down the fights in great detail which is what we want to be doing this is more built to be a live production on twitch more so than a youtube video so it is going to be a bit long but we do go into depth and we try and go over every single fight um this guy's speaking the truth um but you know we do go over, over every fight in detail look at what we could do differently and stuff like that and we can only really do that by pausing and waiting uh, I'll, I'll love the negativity coming in already. Also, one thing to emphasize as well is I think our friend here, um, Banny, did also say that he's picking McCree like selfishly. He's just said, I'm going to go in and play McCree. Um, and honestly, that's fine as long as the rest of the team understands that and knows that. And honestly, McCree is like a good flexible pick anyway. So I'm perfectly fine with that pick. It's not like picking Genji, which is being a bit of an arsehole because he doesn't really fit in the current meta. And we're actually in a good position here. This is actually where we kind of want to be because we are protecting these two. We have a little bit of cover here that we can use to stay nice and safe as well. We can tuck back. The big thing with McCree and the big thing that I noticed um, during this video is that we seem unsure of what range we should be engaging at. So we open up with some beautiful headshots and then we fall off, which is a bit of a shame because we actually did some really good damage at first. But you've got to understand that at this kind of distance, McCree's damage is actually fairly limited. So the big thing we're just looking to do is land some pot shots, build up a little bit of ultimate, build up a little bit of damage, and get hurt into a targets we're looking for. This is, though, this is the first big opportunity we have coming towards us because they have a D.Va, right? We actually make it very, very difficult for D.Va to do what she wants to do, but we have to be very aware of that defense matrix. The big thing we have, of course, is Flashbang, which can stun D.Va, hold her in place, and right-click or left-click and just into D.Va's head does a huge amount of damage. If you land the stun on this D.Va with Soldier 76 and McCree there, she could be d -mech. She's in actually a very real and legitimate danger of being d -mech, especially if also Anna lands an anti-healing grenade or something as well. She's in a lot of trouble. The big thing to be aware of, though, is the second that she sees you, she's going to defense matrix to try and catch the Flashbang, so you have to try and outsmart her a little bit just be a little bit um hesitant in throwing the flashbang the second that defense matrix drops then you throw the flashbang right at her and you should be able to get her pretty much every single time throw it at the floor in front of her is actually even better so if she's like standing here just throwing it right about here would be absolutely perfect um just because then it has a lower a shorter flight time and it will just explode that little bit earlier you'll get still get the stun effect you should do some good damage to that diva we see the Diva off, absolutely fine. Okay, now we want to just keep shelling damage into the Reinhardt Barrier. We've got a quick cheeky pick here. Okay, we can do some damage into that. Otherwise, we just want to be focusing on that Reinhardt Barrier as a major DPS source. Again, like we're looking as well to use our flashbang as much as possible. Hey, Savage Assassin X, welcome to the many. Thank you so much as well for joining us as we look over this McCurry game. A little bit worried of the standing still stuff, but the big thing I noticed in this little engagement here is that we didn't use our flashbang. Flashbang actually has a surprising amount of range. Um, like, we're fine here, we're fine here, we're fine here. And then for some reason, like, Reinhardt ends up underneath us. We could actually flashbang this Reinhardt. And that gets him out of the fight for a little while, holds him perfectly still, gets us some free and easy damage onto that Reinhardt, builds up our ultimate a little bit faster, gives us all kinds of little advantages. Don't be afraid to use a flashbang a little bit aggressively, especially if they don't have like a Tracer or a Genji or something like that. Like the big thing that you're going to be watching for here is the D.Va, and D.Va, he takes a little while to kill people and she's kind of annoying anyway, so we can just focus on getting us done on this Reinhardt, for example, would be absolutely fine. And still, we get good damage with the Reinhardt. Reinhardt's dangerously low at the moment, we're doing a good job. 
McCree, very, very good at tank busting. Okay, that's perfectly fine. We can let the Reinhardt go, get healed up. We do want to be thinking about contesting this point a little bit more, though. We want to be moving a little bit more towards the point. I know the Reinhardt sort of tucked back there somewhere, but still, that payload is getting dangerously close to the point, so we're losing sight of the meta objective just a little bit here. We want to be going to move towards the point, because this Reinhardt... He ain't protecting shit at the moment. He's not doing shit. He doesn't need to. The payload's at 4 meters, 3 meters, 2 meters, 1 meter, 0 meter. They get the point. So while we're over here, they're catching the point. A little bit losing sight of the main objective there. A little bit losing sight of what we really need to be doing. Again, we've got an opportunity here. Divas run forward. That said, I'm perfectly fine with this movement moving back. Getting a little bit further back. That said, what we end up doing is actually a little bit um, incorrect, is what I'd say. And the reason why it's incorrect is we're just a little bit too far back. I'm actually fine with this positioning, like around here, especially when Roadhog sort of walks up, because we're nice and safe from Roadhog's hooks. We're a bit safe from, like, any damage coming from Lucio as well, such as it is. But then when we start standing back here and when Reinhardt's over here, McCree's damage drop-off is so huge that we're actually dealing, like, 20 damage a shot anytime we land ahead at this distance. We're not doing anything. You can see, like, the axes are really tiny, barely taking anything off Diva, for example. We can actually be a little bit closer. And if we were, say, about here, we could flashbang this charge, for example. We could really punish that charge in a huge, huge way. Because we have a McCree, we can stop that uh, charge, we can stop the damage coming out. Luckily, we land this flashbang, and you can see, then we can just leave this Reinhardt to get that kill, no problem. So we want to position ourselves in a place where we are exerting pressure through use of that flashbang. Okay, they've dropped the beat. We're actually making an interesting decision here, it's a decision I kind of disagree with a little bit. Which is, um, we're pushing forward after they drop the beat. So what's happening right now is we have High Noon ready. The thing with Deadeye is you want to be very... Don't get over eager with Deadeye. Deadeye to me is like more of a zoning tool than an actual powerful killing tool. If you get one kill with Deadeye, honestly, that's good enough. Like, Deadeye isn't a great killing thing. So getting over eager with Deadeye, I think, is a trap that people fall into very readily. That said, I'm not very good at Deadeye, so that could just be my opinion. But they drop the sound barrier. That's going to mean they're going to push in. We want to be in a place where we can, again, exert pressure with that flashbang. When we have a flashbang, we are saying to the enemy team that you can't come near us because then we'll land the flashbang and we'll buy some time. This is honestly, like, really goddamn cool and really goddamn lucky. I couldn't believe that this happened. Um, I don't like this high noon at all. And actually, we can tell, by the way, that Banny is aware of the big threat and the big mistake right here. Deadeye kills people no matter what range you're at. Like, it doesn't have damage drop-off on Deadeye, so we can stand as far back as we like. The problem with standing here is the second we activate Deadeye, this guy's just going to hook us and kill us. Luckily, what happens is actually fascinating because D.Va gets a little bit overexcited, runs right into our face, launches us into the sky and gets us a free kill onto the Lucio. That sets all the same state sets up and gets a kill there. But hey, we have Rez. Now we're in a great position. And then we see a mistake that a lot of McCrees end up doing, which is like a pride mistake. I'm going to have a sip of coffee, actually, while we watch this amazing play once again. It's just the shit that happens in an Overwatch game. The shit that happens. We're fine fighting and dying on the point because we have a res, though, which is good. We're in a great position here. What happens here is actually pretty simple. Uh, I sense a little bit of pride in that, where you're trying to just kill her using a left click, or, you know, you, you want to land a headshot and get a kill with that because that feels more honorable, or it feels more fair, or whatever. Forget that nonsense. Don't be afraid to right click people. That's what it's there for. If they are in range and you land the flashbang, right click the shit out of them. Um, do not ever feel bad about doing that. It's one, it's a trap that I myself have fallen into where it's like, well, I really should be left clicking them because it's more skillful and it feels better and it looks better. And it's like, well, no, I should just right click and kill them. Like we have full ammo. We can definitely kill that mercy if you right click. When we left click, it doesn't quite happen. So unfortunately, we end up dying there. They are still pushing. We didn't capitalize off the back of that res. Ah, feels bad, man. Feels very, very bad, man. While we're making our way back here, like, what is our target priority right now? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. We want to be helping our Reinhardt, stopping their Reinhardt from getting away with too much stuff, stopping their D.Va from getting away with stuff as well, like this chase down here, for example. We're in a really good position. Anna lands a great steep dart. Good moves by just stopping DPS on that D.Va. We could just leave her. And we're getting set up with our Reinhardt. Good, 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 good. I like this positioning. I like where we are right now. We're in a good place to help our Reinhardt if, if the D.Va, for example, gets too greedy. If this Lucio, for example, jumps forward, there's nothing stopping us just flashbanging him here. Flashbang actually has a surprising amount of range. And I think one of the big things I noticed during this video is you don't have a good feel for the range of the flashbang. When Lucio gets this close to the Reinhardt, like just a, not a second ago, but just a little while ago, he's actually in range. And even be... I could say about... Just about here, he's actually in a very good range to actually get that flashbang off. I think if you just throw it, it might just be a little bit too far, but I would actually roll forward behind the Reinhardt, because you're still going to be safe behind Rhine, and then just flashbang him. 
Um, because that can get you basically a free right-click kill onto the Lucio. When Lucio dies, the enemy team just loses so much momentum. They lose a lot of healing, they lose a lot of speed. All that kind of stuff. It actually sets you up very, very nicely. So don't be afraid to use roll to get into position to then punish something happening that is a bit silly. The, oh, beautiful shot. Good, 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 good. Uh, not sure why the rudder was out that far on its own. Again, we are actually in a really good position. When Lucios are dancing around the point and dancing around the payload, we are one of the best things to stop them. Um, we are one of the best things at shutting down any antics around all of the payload nonsense. Like, we can just flashbang it, kill it, no problem. Hold the target down so other people can beat it up. We are really, really good at dealing with that. So if someone is trying to contest, we want to be prioritizing getting rid of that contesting person. And because it's a Lucio, it's just extra value. That said, res goes off. We're okay. We're staying with the Reinhardt. This is where we want to be. There, Reinhardt comes in. Gets very, very aggressive while landing damage on him. Good flashbang. Just stops him doing any follow-up. Good kill there. Good positioning. We just, you know, we protected our supports. We're doing what we need to do. This is absolutely fine. Now we're in a bit of a dangerous position. Just because the Mercy's healing up here, that said I am actually okay-ish with our healing with our dealing damage here, especially now that he's purple. Now we definitely focus this target. Why are we changing to soldier? I don't know. Um, I would just like see to see like one or two more shots going on to this target. We can leave the soldier for now. There's nothing here that he can really kill in time, which is the Reinhardt and the Diva before we can get to him with a flashbang. Let's just finish off the road dog, make sure that he can't get away nice and safe, confirm that kill, and then we can go and deal with soldier, who's not really going to be able to get away, Reinhardt, firing off a very interesting Earth Shadow that somehow doesn't stun this Diva still. We end up getting the Soldier 76, and the Roadhog, luckily Diva finishes off Roadhog there, done and dusted. Don't know why we're shooting at this Lucio. Even at this di so at this distance, like A, it's hard to hit that Lucio who's having an adventure up here on this cliff face, but B, even if we do hit him, we're dealing like 20 damage. He just swaps to healing aura, he heals that instantly. We're not going to be doing anything. We want to be thinking about this Diva, making it so that this Diva can't stay here, making it so, for example, this Winston can't stay here, for example, because he's just dropped his uh, barrier during a jump, which means it's inevitably landed out of place, so we can definitely set up there, but we're doing good. We're actually in the perfect position right now, which is protecting our Anna, because she needs protection for stuff like that. Again, okay, Lucio's right in front of us, why we didn't flashbang him? I have no idea. Just flashbang him. Get the kill. No shame in doing it. Now if this comes in, it's a naked diva ult. No one gives a shit. Okay, Anna dies somehow to it. Feels bad, man. But we're actually in an okay position here. Good shooting on Mercy. Good, 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 good. Although we could have just flashbanged and killed her. Again, do not be afraid to take the safe option, which is just landing the flashbang. There is no shame in it. Zero shame in it at all. That said, that actually leaves us in a very nice position to deal with this Roadhog. Roadhogs who are huffing their paint can, like, land a couple of shots. The second he comes out of that, don't be afraid to roll into him and flash him and then right-click him. Um, just because, like, when he's finished this, he's on about 400 hit points, 350-ish. If we rolled in and flashed him, even if he fired the hook at the same time, the flash would probably still hit him so he wouldn't be able to kill us. Diva's there to help us kill him and we could finish him off. Um, rolling into position is actually a very, very good idea. And you notice we rolled there for a quick reload. We've got a Winston on us. Roadhog managed to come around, but we just ignore the Winston for some reason. Um, we still have a flashbang off cooldown. We could have definitely used it then to get that Winston off us. If Winston's in range to hit you with a Tesla cannon, he is in range to eat a flashbang. So we want to be dealing with that and removing that. Still, we're in an okay-ish position. We're, we're all right here. You know, we've got a lot of resources. There's still people contesting the point. There's still Diva doing a good job. We have res, so we can fight on the point. No worries. Let's get back out there while I have a sip of coffee. And yeah, like in fairness, like apparently this is this guy's second McCree game in ages. Like he sent in a, also like a Val game before, but um, like we can see that he's actually doing okay with the aiming. Like I would not feel too bad about the the a hit the hit scan performance so far. A bit of a shame that she got away there. Um, would have liked to see the combat roll just to re just to skip that reload animation. Combat roll actually has a fairly quick, a moderate cooldown, but it's like worth it if you think you can finish off a diva or a demac a diva. Winston jumps in, okay, back away from the barrier, good, 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 good. We're sort of cornering ourselves here, but we're okay because we are actually very good at short range. We're actually better than Winston is. Short range, Winston jumps in, he's not going to have a bubble. Hey, free mercy kill, good. And a little bit of pride there, perhaps, with the left clicks, but definitely pays off as we kill two supports, ladies and gents. Beautiful performance coming out right now. Again, I still I would have preferred a right click because you could just roll to kill the McCree, but good shooting text. Good, good shooting text. As we still now, like, we just bought our team a load of space right now. We're in a really good position. We just want to stay alive, kill these tanks as fast as possible, deal some damage to the Diva. Frame rate drop there, just because we're trying to record at the same time. Feels bad, man. Um, but yeah, honestly, like, that was perfectly very, very well done. Like, backing off at the right location. Moving into a good position. Now our team's in a good position right now to set up and finish this. Diva drops a Diva bomb in desperation because it's like 20 seconds left. Little does she know that she's throwing the game because their team could probably get back to the point for one final fight. 
Okay, we got Deadeye. This is actually very, very powerful for this next fight. So, in my mind right now... Well, I, I just have a little bit of it like a burp because I've been drinking coffee. It's very acidic. Anyway, we have Deadeye. So, we can actually set up on the high ground and actually be very, very potent. Um, there's no big reason for us to drop down very quickly. We want to be in a location where we can just get a good high noon and maybe force them off the point and do some damage. Instead, we decide to drop down. Also fine with that. That's it. We lose sight of this a little bit. Where the, there's something on the point contesting it, we can actually deal with that very, very well. I think it's actually a Lucio on the point. He does get taken out eventually, but we could have just dealt with that with a single flashbang. We actually see him, I think, when we do drop down. So we can actually hear the Lucio. Like, if you listen, you can hear him clapping it about. And so there he is. Like, if we dealt with that and dealt with this thing on the point first, then we could have probably been in a better position. Then we could have just won this a little bit faster. Just shut them down a little bit quicker. Perfectly fine with the use of that Deadeye, though. Shutting down, killing the Mercy instantly. Like, killing Mercy is a win with Deadeye. Like, that's that's worth. That's value. Team does pick it up. We end up taking. And defending the point right before the end of the second point, that's actually a very, very good opportunity for us going forward in Route 66. And again, the big thing we're noticing is we just need to be that little bit more aggressive with our flashbangs and we could get more value out of that. And just using right-click a little bit more. There is no shame in just right-clicking stuff. Um, oh, fun fact, by the way, as... Hey, we've got another member of the many. Read at... Oh my god. Read at 3108 has joined the many. Thank you, read at 3108. It's good to have you with us uh, on this fine, fine day. So what we're noticing is, again, uh, I was about to talk about right-click DPS. So if you just, just spam right-click, and especially like right-click, roll, right-click, that's a huge, huge amount of DPS. That's a really high amount of DPS. Even though it sounds weird because it's like, well, surely left-clicking does twice as much damage per left-click. So if I left-click and then reload and then left-click again, I'll deal more No, you deal more DPS, right-click, roll, right-click. Very, very good way of killing tanks. Holy shit, someone else. Lorda, Lorda Vakim. No, oh, I'm getting you confused with Lord Aardvark, who someone else has been around for a while. But Lord of Akum, welcome to the many as well. Glad to have you with us. Um, beautiful, 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 beautiful subbing with Twitch Prime. Lovely use of that Twitch Prime sub. Great to have you joining us. Okay, now on McCree on attack. So what's changing? What's changing when we're playing McCree on attack? What it means is we can be a little bit more aggressive. Like, the enemy team isn't going to be diving us as much. We have to be a little bit more initiating with our play, and we're going to be focusing a lot on dealing with their Reinhardt. Their Reinhardt is our primary target. Unless they do have, for some reason, a flanker, then we want to be making sure that, that doesn't get too much liberty. But we definitely want to be syncing up with our Reinhardt, getting a lot done with that. The reason why is McCree, as a lot of you know, can flashbang over an enemy Reinhardt barrier. If you throw it over the Reinhardt barrier, you stun him for a second. That could set up your Reinhardt for a charge. It could set up your Reinhardt for um, a, an Earth Shadow, for example. It could set you up for an easy kill on the Reinhardt. It's just a very, very, very powerful thing to do. Um, you also just deal a lot of damage into Reinhardt's barrier in general, so just spamming away into that is perfectly fine. That's sort of my objectives going into this, is we want to be part of the front line of this team. We want to be really, really looking for kills, looking for quick kills, looking to create openings with flashbangs, punishing over extensions, doing all that good McCree stuff that we can do. So again, we want to be following this Reinhardt in a little bit. Like I said, we're still too far back. We really want to be tailing up with this Reinhardt, because you can see the little X there is actually very small. We're dealing like 20 damage a shot, now we're dealing more like 40. We want to be dealing closer and closer to that 70 damage a shot that McCree can deal at close range. You notice their Reinhardt barrier is instantly taken down. Now we're in a very strong position, because their Reinhardt is definitely on the back foot. We've won that fight. We're actually in a really solid place right now. Good, good kill there. May fucks a wall up. Unfortunately, our Reinhardt does get caught off and does go down a little bit. Now we're in trouble. We get caught in a bush. Feels bad, man. We do drop down. For some reason, we're going back in. I'd say this is a little bit overbold. Um, yeah, we don't want to be doing that. And then we just end up dying. So what happened there? What went wrong there? One or two things went wrong. Um, the Reinhardt charge was a little bit overaggressive, considering they have a May. So May did a very, very good job of just sorting that up. If this Reinhardt stayed alive that little bit longer, we would be definitely looking to get a flashbang on a target around here, just to stun and stall out their damage a little bit, and then we would be looking to sort of kill the soldier, perhaps, because he's already dropping low. A very good shot on the soldier. Like, definitely feel happy about that. But once this has happened, like, once that Reinhardt is dead, we don't want to be here anymore. This fight is already over. This Zarya has complete freedom now to go and kill absolutely everything she wants. We don't want to be coming back up here. We want to be pulling out. We've got all the Discord on us as well. We are just dead the second we step forward. We wanted to be rolling back, trying to protect our team a little bit more. Maybe getting a pick or two, hoping that they overextend. If they overextend, we can punish that in a really big way, for example. Holy shit, missed. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You what, mate? Uh, anyway, we need to play later. Need to waste my hands over right in front of you. God damn it. Mist was, of course, the Hanzo that we did yesterday. If you haven't checked that out, it's worth doing. Mist, 
Hopefully he's getting better with that. And also, Overpowered Soap just subscribed. Overpowered Soap, I need you in my life for some overpowered cleaning, my man. Anyway, welcome to the mini as well. Thank you so much. Okay, let's talk about what's happening right now in this match. We're coming up and over, and I'm on the fence about this position because it does set us up quite nicely. But again, we do want to be sort of playing towards that front line. Um, we also have an opportunity here with their Reinhardt dying. Let's say we just lost two people. So we're really looking to punish an overextension here. And again, we see the May coming forward. The firing off um, Tack Visor as well. We just want to be falling back. If they fire off Tack Visor and don't get any kills, that's absolutely superb. Luckily, they don't manage to get onto us, but they do manage to get the Mercy. Feels bad, man. Again, do not be afraid to try and confirm the kill with the Flashbang here. Especially if she sort of comes towards this, I'm definitely looking for the flashbang. And as she's trying to get past the Reinhardt, like that's when I'm thinking, okay, we've got an opportunity here. If this Reinhardt didn't like have to run back and deal with this May, you could see that he's dropped his barrier to get rid of May, who's killing the Mercy. If we drop down there, flashbang him, he can bring the barrier up, protect all of you from the tact visor, and then you can kill May without a problem. Unfortunately, May, when trying to left click down on May, then she has plenty of time to just ice barrier up, so she just survives that. If he landed a headshot, maybe he would have killed her, but. It happens. Like, the safer thing to do, the wiser thing to do is to use the flashbang, use the roll, reposition, get the kill. Luckily, they get very, very greedy here, and we can punish that. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now we're looking to capitalize a little bit. A bit over-aggressive again. We're just engaging without having the Reinhardt in front of us. We want to just wait for that Reinhardt advantage, because we have a really, really strong tool in our hands with the flashbang. So, okay, they're in a bad situation right now. Our soldiers decided to flank. We almost went with that soldier, and soldiers just died because the enemy team just turned around and killed him. We're actually in a really solid position right now. We have Deadeye. Now we can be thinking about flanking a little bit. We're going to go for that flank. That's a little bit dangerous, so we want to peek. Have a look. There's nothing there. It's just Mercy. Can we get the Mercy? Not quite. We do get half a Reinhardt South. I'm actually fine with releasing that there as well at that point. Very good flashbang there. Very, very good flashbang. The enemy team did not react to our presence. We got in. We disabled their Reinhardt. We got a free kill off the back of it very, very easily. And again, we want to be thinking about, okay, well, they just res their Reinhardt's just come back up. We want to be perhaps looking for a kill on that. Otherwise, we're just going to be sticking with our Reinhardt, dealing as much damage as we can. Their Reinhardt's dropping low. Good, 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 good. That said, the Soul 76 is the pressing concern at the moment. He's dropped down. He's moving around. Okay, now we want to be dealing with this. Now, you notice that we're changing priority based on, like, okay, well, what's available as a target? This is now in, definitely in our kill zone. If, like, if you think about having, like, a zone around you where you're exerting pressure, you have a uh, flashbang, for example, which just exerts a huge amount of pressure. Anything coming near you is suddenly very vulnerable to the whole team. This Reinhardt is in your kill zone. So, 76 is run off. Um, we can just ignore him for now. We land that. We instantly delete him. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now we just want to stick with the rest of the team. That's come from behind us, so actually good movement going into here. We forced out Transcendence as well. This is very, very good. We just lost Mercy so far, but honestly, that's actually pretty good. Not sure why we're going over here, though, but it could work out. Because we do find a lone Mercy. Again, wouldn't have been remiss just to use the flashbang there just to confirm the kill. Um, because if you does dash away or does get away, if something does go wrong, like that soldier appears and kills you before you get that off, you'll feel very, very silly. Don't be afraid to take the safe option. Um, it's just very, very valuable. Soldier runs around, gets a kill on us. Feels bad, man. I would say one thing that you are also doing a little bit is you are standing still while firing. I understand that, you know, you might be practicing your aim, hoping to aim a little bit better, but it's just a bad habit to get in into because it sets us up so wonderfully for our stuff to get a kill. Like, they have a Mei, they have a Soldier. It's very easy for them just to land a single headshot on you, take you out. They also have, like, a Zenyatta who can just delete you very quickly as well. So just be very, very careful about using... Um, about standing still, about playing very passively on McCree as well. You have opportunities with like roll, flashbang to reposition very quickly. That's it, we're still in a great position right now. Even though the clock's starting to tick down, it's getting a little bit dangerous. But we're actually also very, very strong at exerting pressure at points like this, where the enemy team has to sprint out. Like, again, don't be afraid to flash this nice and early. Like, we know the enemy team has to come from here and here. We have two tanks up here. We want to just be watching this. If someone runs out of it, just flashbang them. Um, there's no reason to hold on for a couple of seconds to land a couple of shots first. We can just flash her and kill her. Means she doesn't even get blizzard off. Means that we don't have to use this nano boost. Means that we have nano boost set up for the next fight. And then we have a lovely free kill on the Reinhardt here. We can roll after him. Good, 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 good. Would have been totally fine to right click in them as well. Don't know why he's rocked his barrier there. Good shooting, good shooting, good shooting. Good kill there. But we would have been fine. I think if you right clicked him in that instance, let's just see his health bar. So like if I were left clicking at this range, then we roll, flash, right click here, would have probably left him with a sliver of health, and you could probably just reload and shot him again, or you could have just meleeed him if he's low enough. Like a good Reinhardt wouldn't have just lowered his barrier to try and fire strike in an instance where he's caught off on his own. He would have just kept his barrier up and try and sneak forward and maybe try and get a charge and get a kill off that. So that Reinhardt fucked up there, but we punished it well. Okay, now we're just sticking with our tanks. Good, 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 good. We're firing off a naked diva bomb. Gets a kill. Don't know why it got a kill. Shouldn't get a kill. 
Mercy's gone nuts, but now we can actually capitalize on the back of this as people do start dropping down. So we are rampaging forward. This is actually good. We're sticking with our Reinhardt. Good, 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 good. We can actually punish this May. Because she's just ice blocked for no reason. I think if we went for the punish, we might have got caught off by that wall. But I'd say, like, the second I see this ice block, I'd be moving forward and then getting ready to roll in Flash and get the kill. That's what I'd be looking for. Good shot. Very, very good shot. Still got the kill, which is nice. Now we're sort of overextending a little bit. Now our team's going a bit crazy. We don't need to be all the way out here at the moment. Especially with only two people on the payload. I'd like to see a third person on that payload just to keep it moving. We want to be a bit nearer to the Reinhardt as well so that Zarya can't just do this. Like, the, the only reason that Zarya can do this and get right into our Reinhardt's face and try and get through his barrier is because we're back here. If we were up closer, she can't do this anymore. She cannot do this anymore because the second that barrier goes down, we just flash bang her and she's dead. We get caught in sights, but we could have still rolled this way, for example. And the sights are still too far away to really do anything. We're nice and in cover. Nice and safe, nice and safe, nice and safe. Big right-click damage. Don't do this. Um, so we're just standing there asking for healing. When Mercy's already busy, the payload's out there. We should actually just probably be looking to get out rather than just standing still. Definitely don't stand still, whatever you do. That said, it's good res, but Zarya gets a very, very good ult off the back of this. Uh, interesting thing about Flashbang. You notice that the flashbang hits soldier, doesn't hit the Zarya. Yeah, if, when you throw the flashbang, like the range of the flashbang is such that if someone is standing next to you and you throw it the full distance, it won't stun the person next to you. It will stun this tit over here. It's not doing much, and this Zarya is going to kill everything. As a result, because she's on high charge, not much we can do about that, being honest. Even if you landed a full right click, she would have survived. It would have taken a miracle to stop that death happening. Now we're in a little bit of danger, though. We've got 50 seconds. Uh, left on the clock, but we have a lot of resources and they don't, that's a big thing, they don't have we don't have res for the next fight, but they don't have graviton search, so, really good position I think you even realise at this point that, hey, we've got tons of resources, let's just win the next fight we just group up and we win I'm actually fine with this flanking movement as well um, just because, like, this is the thing with Route 66 there's a lot of pathways to get around, so I'm, I'm okay with doing this we're playing it careful, we can see at the back there. Ooh, some interesting targets. I think also, I think you were coordinating with the Reinhardt to try and get a good Earth Shatter. If you really wanted a good Earth Shatter though, I would say you want to stick with the Reinhardt, because then you can flash theirs, and you use that to land the Earth Shatter. Um, just because you flash over their barrier, and then that barrier is dropped, so your Reinhardt can land his Earth Shatter through it. It's a very, very safe way of doing that. I'm perfectly fine with this. You force out Transcendence, but Transcendence doesn't stop it. Perfectly fine with you killing the May using that as well. It's good use of it. Beautiful, beautiful stun comes out there. Would have liked to see a roll just to get that reloaded a little bit faster. Just to again safely confirm the kill. Like, don't be afraid to use these abilities. We're relying a little bit too much on our left click. So it sounds like a weird thing to say, but we're using resources. We're not using resources that we have for very little reason not to use them. Otherwise, we are in a fantastic position at the moment. So let's have a look at this fight. Just to, just to keep it rolling. So yeah, I definitely, like, we're probably fine with this flanking movement. It's a little bit risky, but it pays off. We get Transcendence instantly. Why he's Transcendence, I think it's just to not die to your high noon. So he's just using that to save his own life. Probably fine with killing May. There, Reinhardt messes up. Uh, Shadow goes through. And again, we're just landing damage, landing damage. Would be perfectly fine with a flashbang roll right click. Or just even a roll flashbang right click. Just some way to quickly reload rather than doing the manual reload. Because then you're just giving them a chance to maybe survive a little bit longer. Giving them a little bit of an opportunity that they perhaps don't need. Otherwise, we're stuck in... Like, you see that she survives. Oh, no, she gets rezzed, I think. Um, so she does come back to the fight through a res, but still, would have been nice to just get that kill. Damn that we go down, but honestly, it's not too big a deal right now. Diva's doing a good job stalling. Okay, like, Torbjorn's chatting about something. Torbjorn playing Reinhardt is being very obnoxious in chat. Probably fine with the tracer swap. We want to get back there as soon as possible, buy time on the payload. We're still in an okay position. We're still, like... We're seeing blue up here. That's what we want to see. That's actually very nice to see. I'm going to charge into the back. Try and get rid of this Mercy. We're really going to be focusing on getting around the payload a little bit. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. We're still okay. We've still got people on the payload. We just want to make sure that you're keeping your eye on this as much as possible. If this vanishes, we want to be one of the first people to get back on it. Otherwise, good. Good, 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 good. Foxstorm with eight months. Jesus Christ, Foxstorm. I'll get to you in a second. It's holy moly. Good, 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 good. Playing around the payload. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Boom! And because actually we walked through this in pretty quick time, we're going to have a look at the Iconvald match as well. Uh, Foxstorm, thank you. Eight months. Good lord, man. You've been around since the XCOM days. We're going to actually talk about XCOM after we're done with coaching the many. We've got some interesting things to talk about afterwards. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Great to have you with us for this New Year's Eve. It's almost time for New Year's in most of continental Europe. 
Still uh, a good hour away from here. From it here, we've got awful player with the Zarya play again. No surprise to that, ladies and gents. We do see awful player coming into position right now, in a little bit of danger, it's getting a bit melee down there, but does land some good right clicks, gets a lot of damage, gets rid of the mercy. Two people picked up by the res, but it's no problem for awful player, who's just in the perfect position right now to cut them down with that high charge Zarya action. Beautiful. Uh, okay, so what we noticed in that game was the aiming looked really good. Like his aiming, this guy's aiming looks actually pretty goddamn solid. Like this is the makings of a good McCree player, but. A little bit too hesitant to use roll to reload quickly, for example, or reposition quickly into a flashbang. Uh, very, very hesitant to use flashbang. We definitely want to be using that more aggressively.